Hello everyone, this reading is for Monkey, Chinese Zodiac. So you'll find out what year you're born in and that's how you know your animal, for those who may not know. So this year coming up, 2020, is the number four, two plus two. And the number four sounds like the word death in Chinese. So the number four is considered unlucky just on the vibration the sound, the association of four. Now, four in numerology uh, will represent structure. It has its positive meanings as well as um, some negative um, meaning if what we're supposed to do isn't applied to it, okay? So four represents a vision, also limitations. Limitations can be good, they can be bad. It all depends on how we perceive them and what our goal is. <clears throat> it also represents our priority. Our priority might be good for us, might not be good for others. So you have the yin and yang, okay? Management, um, restrictions, effort, determination. So the four is the vision that you have for yourself. It might be the vision that you have for your entire structure, okay? for the world in itself, okay? Now, four is also associated with Uranus. And Uranus is related to the sun. So let's break it down. Uranus is that being. So being as far as mind, body, and spirit and how you relate yourself in the physical world, okay? So the structure of the physical world and the organization of the physical world. So Uranus is about our life, right? And our fight for ourself, really, to to really free ourselves, to have that that life path of liberation where we're not restricted by others. So it makes me think of also some aspect of Saturn as well, but it's really strictly a Uranus um, energy, okay? So Uranus is the higher frequency of Mercury, and we know Mercury is all about communication. So what are we communicating and why, right? So I'll get to the questions that we can ask ourselves this year. So it's about a person's development and their growth and their character and their ways of means as they grow and move in their life. So it is the sun representing the self and then Uranus representing that liberation path, okay? So Uranus being that high, higher octave of Mercury is a person's development, their growth, their character and their ways and how they, they are gonna grow and how they move and how they're acting, okay? and how really it's gonna affect others, not only just themselves, because that Uranus is self, but it's also, well, the sun is the self, and then Uranus is basically the self trying to find its, its liberation, its own path, what makes the self happy. So it's going to really depend on how others affect you and your feelings and and how you are and how you choose to be in this life just like everyone chooses to be in this life and really people waking up okay so uranus is like the zodiac um aquarius where aquarius might feel like they're born at the wrong time meaning that things that are happening now they feel like this is really backwards this isn't as free as it should, um, they're, they're future thinkers, okay? Aquarius is like the future thinker, so if they're born now and things are kind of not as free as they should be as far as people living their life um, in peace or feeling free, then Uranus is going to really work towards that liberation path, just like uh, Uranus, okay? So, a question to ask ourselves in this year is how are we organizing ourselves and as far as our work for humanity, but work for ourselves as well. So it's like a two part question. It's the self work and also the universal work, just being conscious of not just ourselves, right? So how are we organized? How are we structured in the best way for 
ourselves, right? And not just for ourselves, but for others as well. Because if, if we don't have balance, then there's always going to be some kind of chaos, right? So how things work, we got to look in this year, how do things work? And what are we working towards, right? And whatever that is, it means a lot to you. And it also means a lot to someone else as well. So that's the energy of the year when you look at it, okay, in numerology. So let's get into the love reading, the all, all of the, the um, little things that add up that we want to know spiritually about our lives, okay? So love is steady. If you are married, if you're a monkey that is married, then everything is steady um, throughout the year. It's, it's, um, there may be ups and downs for some, but overall it's steady. Uh, if you are single, it's more about finding that new relationship and trying to find your way or that partner, okay? Just like um, other signs, but it all depends on what is your destiny and not forcing it. That's the key, okay? Now, this year, monkey is less likely to get married, but will overall throughout the months and throughout the quarters of the year will find someone that they relate to, but not necessarily marriage, all right? So you're friends with the rat and the dragon, and we are going into a rat year, leaving the pig year and going into the rat year on January 25th. 2020 is recognized as a Chinese New Year um, for the West Coast. It or in the states, the new moon is on the 24th, and so recognizing the 24th and the 25th is good because of the different time zones. Okay, so you're friends with the rat, so that means that it is a great year for monkey. It's like a four or five for most of you. Okay, and you're also friends with the dragon, so this is the other sign that you get along well with. <clears throat> the snake is the animal that you don't get along with. And I always say take all of this with a grain of salt because in the Western astrology, you can get along great. And in the Vedic astrology, you can match up, okay, perfectly fine. Uh, tiger is your secret friend. So tiger is a person that no one would expect would be your friend. Maybe they have a wild personality or they're too quiet, but you, you can learn something from that person. So that's your secret friend friend. In love and marriage, like I said, is happy, single, um, less likely to marry this year. Your lucky numbers can vary, but usually it's two or three. Every sign will have a different number. Uh, sometimes it varies with the year, but usually traditionally it will be a two or a three. Your lucky directions are southwest, west, and northwest. This usually works in feng shui if your house faces either one of those directions. This year, your health will usually be associated with the organ that's associated with that animal. For instance, in Western astrology, um, certain air signs will have issues with their lungs, so they have to watch out for not smoking. Um, or if your organ happens to be your heel, then you want to not do rough sports because you're prone to injuries in that part of the body. Okay, so the astrology um, research of it over hundreds of years will show that people born under this sign usually have issues like this during their life, serious or simple issues. So for you, it's fever, stomach, stress issues, um, digestive issues. So with this, you always want to drink water or um, some kind of natural juice that is not um, added sugar, unnecessary added sugar, because a lot of things we eat will break down in our, in our digestive system into sugar. So we don't need to add it. It's just a practice of being used to having something extra sweet. So making sure that you have a lot of rest uh, this year to, to combat stress. <clears throat> and also limiting people in your life. And I'll get to that in the later reading. Limiting stressful people or people that ask too much. But you want to make sure that you drink a lot of water. This will help all your, your large intestine, small intestine. Um, and help the digestive process of your food. So making sure that you're getting the right amount of water for your body that day. So having a nutritionist, visiting your doctor, uh, knowing um, what you're supposed to be doing, having your Western doctor, and also having, um, if you can, um, Chinese medicine, traditional um, medicine, or any other culture that 
deals with um, um, nutrition, okay? So that would be a really good start for you this year is just to watch out for that and definitely for fevers, okay? So for your wealth, you want to make sure you do a lot of research before you invest. So if you're new um, to investing, learning a lot about it, you know, looking online, researching, and looking for what works best for you to invest in, okay? Um, <clears throat> if you are not working, then you want to manage your money well, whether you're retired or you are home or whatever your dynamic is, you want to make sure that you're saving um, either way, okay? Your career will be great for traveling, okay? Um, traveling will be great for Monkey um, this coming year, 2020. Also, to combat stress, a lot of mindfulness meditation is suggested. Yoga, yoga at your limit, okay? It's what works for your body, so finding the correct yoga for you, taking the moves from it and figuring out what works for, your, for you. Meditation will work as well. Now let's get into the quarters. The quarters are divided into three months, okay? And the new year will start differently in the, in the um, Chinese tradition. It's usually the new moon, the first new moon, usually falls the first new moon after... Um, winter solstice, but it can also vary just a little. Okay, it's a lot to get into, but I'll probably make another video on that. Now, the first quarter is going to be challenging for you in the month, in the first couple of months or the first couple of weeks, rather, will be a lot, will be a little bit challenging. But if you do what you're supposed to do, your meditations um, to really get your mind calm and focused, then you can stay positive through anything that's challenging um, at the end of January, beginning of February. And you want to be careful of any relationship that can become potentially toxic, whether the person is asking too much of you or just needing to readjust for some reason. Um, whatever they're going through, they probably just need a firm hand but compassionate from you so that they are not... Um, overdoing their their um welcome for for whatever you're offering to help with the second quarter is you being calm being as peaceful as you can and again going back to the first quarter trying to avoid um, people in situations that is asking too much of you and that can become potentially uh, stressful okay so people or things or situation that can be very upsetting for you you want to make sure you limit yourself um, from that and really evaluate yourself so that you can learn and grow as a person um, and always applying self-care for yourself. So improving yourself, your mind, the way you think will really help you this year and your self-care. Um, around March um, into April, take advantage of situation that can be beneficial for you, whether it's love, uh, more like um, uh, self-growth and also finance, okay? And the any kind of hardship that you're going through in the second uh, quarter, know that it will end around June, July, okay? Things will get better. Now, the third quarter is all about you, again, standing up for yourself, you really learning how to deal with anyone that might try to be draining or difficult again, all right? New opportunities will open up for you for money. Try to spend less and to save when you can always. And also you need to readjust how you're spending your money. So if you're investing, make sure that you are keeping tabs on it and really being a part of it. Time management will be really good for you this year. Also, um, if you're not, if, if investing and working and so on is not in your life right now where you might be um, retired, then it's just making sure that either way, what, wherever stage of life you're in, is that your money is where it's supposed to be. The fourth quarter uh, is looking out for people who are ungrateful for your time and your energy and really curving that and working through that. 
all right? And also people that might be unsure, maybe in business, unsure of what they want and so on. So you don't know what move that you need to make. So you need to really be firm with people and um, and your time so that there's, there's no taking advantage of that. And a lot of people are dealing with their own ego and so on. So you have to learn how to manage that as well, as well as you working on how you communicate with them. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, so I want to see if this is recording. Yes, okay, it's going longer than I thought. Okay, so make your relationships fun with people. Um, make sure that you are not just being all serious talk and um, you care about them. But sometimes if you are doing too much of a type of way of speaking to them and communicating, it can become stressful. So also make sure of that, okay? Check in on people that you care about, making sure that they're okay. Um, hopefully someone is checking in on you as well. It's a great year for conversation, talking, and getting to know people, but make sure that it's not um, uh, where it might feel judgmental or overbearing, okay? So you know how to do that, monkey. Um, a lot of parties will be good, even dinner parties, just socializing, um, short, fun trips, even trips to the park when the weather is good will be really good for you. Even if you're sitting down practicing, again, mindful meditation, just being out, okay, when, when the weather is still nice before it gets uh, into winter because that four quarters going back um, into the winter months. All right, so the fall time will be a great time to, you know, take walks to the park. The air is fresh early in the morning. Um, the end of the year can be a, a little bit hard or stressful, so make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do throughout the year so that you can combat that and balance it off. It keeps strong towards the end of the year, especially next winter, and um, just applying all of your feng shui that you can. Um, your feng shui this year should be something positive. It could be um, a stone that works well for your sign, which I didn't write down <laughs> for you guys, but um, I can definitely uh, find you what it is. But you want to find something that works well for you, okay? Um, any kind of crystal, you can definitely look that up and and feel and see what what that is, okay? And you want to just incorporate crystals that you feel connected to. Your feng shui area is when you enter the room, it's the left, it's the very left side of the room. So you want to make sure that you have <clears throat> a, an altar of prosperity or something, a table that represents um, happiness, love, and so on. So if you're into feng shui, then it's the left corner of the room when you enter. Uh, you also want to have uh, something that represents love, like a Kuan Yin or a money tree or a Buddha. Okay, so definitely find things that relate to you um, throughout this year. So let me let me see what monkey is dealing with. So opal is good for you guys. Um, tourmaline is can can also be good. It all depends on the year that you were born in as well. So definitely look up what jewel, what kind of crystal or stone that will be good for you. All right. Um, so opal is one, okay, um, that would be good for you. Tiger's eye, jasper, diamond. So they all can vibe with you guys. Um, moss, agate, um, obsidian, <clears throat> iron uh, is another one. Silver, um, selenite. I love selenite sticks. Like I have them in, in, in the corners of the room, okay? Those are really good. Um, gold is also good. Gold is very spiritual. Okay, usually when I first started studying um, years ago, everyone was like silver, silver, and silver is has its own en energy, but so does gold as well. Okay, <clears throat> so definitely do the research and find out what crystals work for you. But this year you want things that represent prosperity because since it's a four year, it's it's going to be a lot of conflict and war and and all of this um, stuff. So it's technically supposed to be a negative year, but I'm a very positive person. So you have to really work on yourself, just like every other uh, zodiac sign and people have to really do
do their own spiritual searching this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please click like and share, leave a nice comment, and um, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.